broken right there. Let's take the injector out. Now, this is where it's really, really important to do what I do rather than uh, be lazy. I highly recommend taking the valve cover out. It's very important to take the valve cover out. And obviously you have to take all the six injectors. If you don't have any chances to take the uh, injectors out, then this is where you can actually just uh, pray, drill this out, hope there's no leaks. Since this is a damaged cylinder head, I am gonna take the valve cover out. So we have a lot more space and this is the correct way of doing a repair on these engines. I have actually drilled half an inch hole just to see if we hit any coolant passages. And I do be honest with you, if you go more than three inches down there, four inches, you're gonna hit a coolant jacket there. Right there, if you can see. Obviously I did this for experimental issue, uh, experimental. So that was here. That is the coolant hole right there. Now obviously you pass by it too much. You hit the, the valve seat. This is just to show you what are the limits of drilling it out. That's a coolant passage. So don't drill too much. All right, so you got a couple options to repair the broken bolt hole. Number one is use an extractor, try to take the bolt out and then either put the original bolt or you can actually drill this hole to M7 1.0 size and Mercedes actually sell a bolt just like this one, same design as this one, but in a M7 1.0 size. And that's a much better upgrade than anything we're gonna do. But on my case, the bolt couldn't come out. So we got option number two, and that is using either helicoil or thread inserts. Uh, the thread insert on this case is going to be a easy lock that I'm using. Uh, these are actually not that bad of a quality. Uh, actually, they sell a time thread, which is even better than this. First of all, you drill the hole a lot bigger with this kit. So you get the drill bit and you drill it like I did right here. And then you get yourself the tab that's included in the kit. And you run the tap, basically. And the Okay, that looks beautiful. Now, obviously clean that up. And then, since this has red Loctite on the side, we're gonna start this by hand, we're gonna insert this by hand first. Okay, getting ourselves a huge screwdriver. All right, guys, so I managed to put the valve cover on and I put the injector and experimenting with this. Uh, this is where it's really important to do what I did so that you get a perfectly working uh, fix for this. This is issue. the tool or the thing that holds the injector down. As you can see, there is a little bit of a groove on the side. And the stock bolt also has that. So if you go yourself and you you put yourself a regular bolt, unfortunately you're gonna have the same leak. So obviously you drill this bigger. Once you drill it bigger, you get the bolt and you find yourself a drill, find yourself a zip tie. And I will show you Now uh, you can modify the existing bolt. Okay, there it is. 
got some Loctite. Now, this is very careful. Uh, the bolt that you're going to use must be at least grade 8.8. .8. If you have 12.9, it's even better. You see that? Okay. So we got ourselves... Again, we got 14 Newton meters on this injector bolt. So this is definitely fixed. And I'm gonna let you guys, if this actually worked on the long run, but this is the only thing I could do, unfortunately, for this engine. I'm gonna put the all injector uh, on the other ones and pray we're not gonna have any issues. I put red Loctite there. So yeah, 